So today we are doing the first impression of Dessa Sands Shadow Sense collection. So it's creating an eye look using a Shadow Sense collection is always my favorite because that way you get to know how to use all of them together because anytime you can use them individually too. And this is um, going to be one of my recent uh, uh, favorite. The reason being, um, if you don't know Shadow Sense, it comes in matte, shimmer and glitter. So. You get to try three different types and you here is the collection that has all three of them each one of them so here you have um, one matte one shimmer and one glitter so do you find the difference so that way once you try you will get to decide okay which is your comfort zone and um, how to use different type of shadow sense also so the first one is uh, um, the uh, canyon which is like a matte taupe color here you can see so when it is a matte there is no shimmer here i am going to use it as my all over base shade so um when you are using as a base shade um make sure you use like a fluffy brush and just blend it all over uh, your lid like i mean here like i said even if you are a beginner and you just need a color uh, for your lid all over this can work really well because our um, eyes are one place that is really thin so you can see discoloration veins and other things so by adding a clear base you are going to conceal all those and have a blank canvas for the other colors to go on top so that's the first shade here you can see the difference here you can see See my discoloration my veins everything whereas this makes it as a clear canvas the next one is the um, gold stone shimmer which is the orange shade um, even though this is a shimmer here the shimmer is very subtle you can see um, it is like a gold shimmer that's like uh, you will be able to see when you turn so here I'm going to use this as my all-over lid color so um, whenever you are starting with shadow sense always make sure you just take a tiny bit and then start you can also add this color as just an outer corner and add like um, even uh, or you can even darken it with uh, um, a color like a French roast or uh, um, garnet anytime when you have browns and these kind of bold shades they go really really well so here you can see i'm just patting it i have hooded eyes so i like to take it a little bit higher then only you will be able to see the color you can see um, even though it's orange you can make it to look subtle with one layer like it doesn't have to be um, very bold you can see the difference between here to here here i'm taking it very very small that way i can build on the color i'm going to add one more layer so anytime like i said when you want the color to show up just pat the color a little bit so that the color payout will be there and then i'm going to blend the corners alone so that you can see it's a very very pretty shade for the eye look I take a clean fluffy brush anytime when i have to blend your corners has to be very very um what's it like clean and uh, blended well so here i'm just taking it and you can see the gold shimmer that is really popping up and it's it's one of the must-have color i would say can you see how the color actually opens up my eye whereas without that so that's the cool thing about having an eye color it will make your eye pop i'm also going to take the same um orange and bring it on to my lower lid now to the fun part of adding the glitter so here um, you can always apply here but i like to use it on a palette so that we can control it so here i'm going to take tiny bit of amount you can see how little we need when it comes to shadow sense it is like mind-blowing and you can use this product as it is like i said so what i like to do is i like to um, swipe it with my fingers so do you see it just brings the glitter alone so then i can top it how much ever i need it on top of this color do you see the difference it's adding so 
the previous one was just uh, shimmers whereas here i am adding more glitter to it so i like to press on it that way i have more control so here i'm just pressing it all over and with senegens you won't have any fallout at all it will be perfect for a evening look like i mentioned you can pretty much pair it with any color like you can pair it with black you can, i mean black black brown bl with a simple brown or you can like i said you can even use your um, any of your shadow scents um, like garnet or french rose to even to uh, do as a liner let me finish the liner and mascara and show you the whole look so here is the finished look let's add our um, new white pencil in the inner corner just to give the highlight so here i'm going to use it just a quick tip. do you see that's the beauty of these pencils like i mean it's just a very simple step but it's going to add uh, another dimension to your whole eye look itself. So here is the finished look. You can see how pretty it looks. Um, it's very, very simple. Like hardly you will finish it in less than five minutes. And I have just done um, black pencil and also I just finished it with the mascara. So uh, this is a perfect collection for even as a beginner. Like I said, you get one a matte, one shimmer and one glitter. And these you can use them in multiple ways. Like I said, uh, uh, you can use it as a blush. You can use it as your lip color. Like there are uh, tons of ways for you to use. And... Uh, these are again smudge resistant and water resistant so once it sets it's not moving anywhere so it's smudged um, it will stay well so that's the beauty of shadow sense hope you liked it